What's going on, guys? Your boy Joey Shake72 coming to you guys with a video right now. So, um, read it a lot into this about, you know, the whole Michael Bennett signing, <laughs> which I can't fucking believe. Um, just kind of get through it all mentally here. Um, we only gave up a fifth round pick plus Marcus Johnson. In return, we get Michael Bennett and a seventh round pick. Um, Vinny Curry is going to be out the door really soon. And there must be some type of plan that Harry Roseman is going to be doing. And uh, it's really close. It's going to be a move within the coming days. You're already going to trade a corner, you know, for a draft pick. And you're going to trade Vinny Curry probably for a high draft pick as well. Um, so the Eagles are going to be accumulating draft picks. And uh, maybe fleece a whole nother team. So to go back to the whole Michael Bennett thing, Michael Bennett's 32 years old, eight sacks, eight and a half sacks this year alone. Um, the most durable defensive end in the league. He averages almost all, over 700 snaps a game uh, a year, um, a game, a season. Um, and our guys in the rotation only average about six and a half, six six hundred something. Not a lot. But durability for Michael Bennett is absolutely amazing. At 32, people are going to say, well, he's 32. Well, I say this. I say, well, at 32, all he's going to have to do is shoot a gap. And that is it. He picks a gap. He shoots it. He goes full force with his strength. Other than that, he's never been in a rotation defensive line unit like this one. Everyone's saying how much of a hothead he is. Everyone's saying how much of... He's a big shit talker. He's always on the media. Um, our locker room is good enough to where he's going to embrace it as a player and, you know, really get into the whole thing of, you know, being a brotherhood. You know what I mean? No one is going to let Michael Bennett do any of these things. Um, I think Michael Bennett knows that this team did win a Super Bowl last year. He knows that th he is playing with probably the best defensive line he has ever played with his whole career. Now, you take sacks, you take the way he plays, um, he's got the playoff, he's had the playoff experience, he knows, you know, if you're going to the playoffs with this, you know, with this guy on your team, you're going to the Super Bowl or any type of divisional, whatever type of game you're going with, with this Michael Bennett, with this guy on your team, he knows how to preparate, he knows, he's, he's done it all, okay, he's won a Super Bowl in Seattle, he's been to the playoffs, he's done a lot in this league, two-time Pro Bowler. So, the only thing I really say is that this is a huge upgrade from Vinnie Curry. Um, when Vinnie Curry only had about Vinnie Curry only had about three sacks, and you know, they went from last year getting a huge deal, and then last year pretty much having that MCL injury, and then finding out this year, you know, you know, had an all right year, but he's making way too much money. So there's a lot of money involved with Vinnie Curry right now. So the problem that I'm having right now is that, you know what, this was a steal trade. You know, a fifth-round pick and Marcus Johnson, we just traded a practice squad wide receiver. That's all we did, a practice squad wide receiver. That's who all we got rid of in a fifth-round pick. Now we have two of them. And one was from the Matt Tobin trade that went to Seattle. Trade Matt Tobin to Seattle to get a fifth round pick back for a guy that never touched the field. We got a fifth round pick for Matt Tobin for a guy that never touched the field. That's a steal in a, in a, it's a fifth round pick, but it's still a fucking steal. This trade, it's a fifth round pick, but a fucking steal. Most durable defensive end in the fucking league. Now, who are you going to double team? I don't know. With Curry, I really couldn't say it too much. In the middle of the field, who are you going to double team? Jernigan or Cutcher Cox? Now, you know, uh, Michael Bennett has been moved at D-tackle. He's been moved sometimes to get some pressure because he's very good at it. And he's made some good plays this past year, especially over his career. But last year, had a pretty good damn year. It was probably one of his low years, but still a great year for um, Michael Bennett. But 
this is an upgrade. This is a signing worth it. So by 2019, he's got two more years left on his deal. So about till 2019, he's going to be due about six point something million. We'll see where we are by that point. That's two years later. Um, but this is a good move. Um, a very surprising move that Harry Roseman pulled off. Sorry, fucking battery's low. Um, very surprising move. And uh, Vinny Curry is just out the door and that's it. And I thought to myself, wait, they're bringing him in. And then, and then what? Then we're just going to get, you know, Michael Bennett. And then we're going to have to get rid of Curry and trade him and see what we can get. There's going to be a team out there that we are going to get a nice draft pick off of or and or more. Um, you want a good pass rusher in this league, you have to pay the price. And unfortunately, the fucking Seahawks just wanted Michael Bennett off the damn team. Um, and on top of everything else, we really needed somebody to go in there um, and do work. I think Michael Bennett will do a lot more than Vinnie Curry could. Um, a lot more. And uh, Vinnie Curry's a good player. But they should have given him that contract last year. And I wasn't all, oh, we got a big contract. Yeah. But this was based off of a 2014, 2000, yeah, 2014 year. He only played 25% of the snaps. He had about 13 sacks, whatever it was, which was kind of crazy. Most of them against the fucking New York Giants. Um, and then all of a sudden, you know, just really not doing too much worth the money. It's not like he's getting 15, 16 sacks a year. You know what I mean? Then I understand, yeah, you got to keep him. You got to pay him. I mean, he's, he, he keeps putting in the work. I mean, what are you going to do? Uh, but Michael Bennett is just, uh, he's a powerhouse, a hungry monster. Um, and uh, he's going to really enjoy playing next to Fletcher Cox and Jernigan and, um, and meeting up with Brandon Graham and Chris Long and, um, Derek Barnett, you know, he, Derek Barnett, this is Derek Barnett's perfect time to get mentored. Um, you know, he gets mentored by Brandon Graham and all the guys, but to be mentored by a guy that's been in the league as long as, you know, Brandon Graham has been in the league pretty long, but to Michael Bennett, you know, it's another guy he can really look up to and, uh, see the way he plays and go in there and do his damn thing. Cause, uh, Derek Barnett's got a big future on this team too. Now I know why we drafted Derek Barnett last year. I was 50, 50 on that pick. And uh, I couldn't be any happier about what how this team has played and how it has done. So I was saying this fucking live stream tonight was going to be based off of, you know, the Eagles haven't made a fucking move yet. But now the Eagles made a huge move today, a splash move. This isn't no normal. We just extended a guy a year on the practice squad like it used to be. Um, we made a fucking move and I thought Michael Bennett was going to go to the Atlanta Falcons because, um, they were in talks, heavy talks over Michael Bennett. And, uh, I don't know if how he just crashed the party with a phone call or did whatever he could do. Um, but he did his work, man. And, uh, even one of the players said it on, on, uh, Michael Bennett's fucking Twitter page. He's like, man, Howie Roseman, man. He's like, he did it and he did do it. And I don't know how he did it, but they want Marcus Johnson they can, they can have Marcus Johnson. I wish Marcus Johnson the best of fucking luck. Um, but Vinny Curry um, is out the door and uh, going to get some nice trade value out of him. So Howie's going to get as much as possible from Vinny Curry. I have a feeling we have another big trade coming soon because um, this team is not even close to being done yet. And uh, that's really all I got to say, guys. So shake squad up. Fly goes fly. Join the live stream tonight at 9 o'clock. Peace. Ho, ho. Nancy Trippin' going crazy, nigga, tell her.